relax, okay? Now listen. Just because I think something might work and just because a part exists on eBay doesn't always make it a good idea, right? But that's where you guys come in, because a select few of you make it very well known when I make any sort of mistake or could do something better, which I do appreciate. So in this video, I'm going to be ditching my T2 to T3 adapter, and I'm going to be turning my T3 manifold into a T2 manifold. I'll show you how to do it. You'll probably hate it equally as much, but I think it's better. So this is a T3 manifold. And this is a rusty hacksaw. Good God, has it gone mad? Possibly, but let me break down the game plan for you. What I'm gonna do is hack those studs clean off, drill some new holes in a T25 pattern, tap the new holes that I drilled, thread in this trick new stud kit that I got, and at that point I'll be able to directly bolt my T25 onto my manifold. Oh yeah, and this masterpiece, I scrapped this too. I got a cast iron one. I can see these welds breaking probably in two days, so it's worth the extra 30 bucks. It's a good thing these Chinese studs are made out of forged noodles. One to go. Look at that. How your garage would be proud. We're not done yet though. Next I'm going to take this file and smooth out the roughness. When you're done you want it to be pretty much a perfectly flat surface. Any imperfections in the surface can lead to a leak between the manifold and the turbo, which can be a spool killer if it's big enough. Next, I'm going to take my T2 gasket and just center it up the best I can. Go ahead and mark out where these studs are going to go. Now, I'll drill out those four holes. If you're using M8 studs, you want to use a 17 64 inch or 6.9 millimeter drill bit. You can see I got a zip tie on here so I don't go too deep. I measured that out to see how deep I wanted to put the studs into the manifold. If I may interrupt myself for just one moment, it seems that I have made a mistake in thinking that all T3s are horrendously slow spooling turbos, and this was brought to my attention by some very friendly people on the internet. There are several variations of the T3, like the T304 e hybrid, things like that. Okay, I don't know all about them, but apparently some of them actually spool pretty fast. So you may be best off buying this manifold and just getting the right T3. Do your research on that stuff. And I apologize if I unintentionally misled anyone along their turbo build. In my case, I set out from the very beginning to use my Beggy T25 T28 hybrid, and I intend on doing so. Center punching is very important for accurate drilling. Once you're done drilling the holes, you'll just take your tap of the appropriate thread, whatever your studs are, and run it down. Same way we did with tapping the pan, you want to do about a half turn in and a quarter turn back to clear off the shavings on the tap. Half turn in, quarter turn back. Boom, threaded and ready for studs. So you take your stud, I got an Allen key on one side which will make it real easy to install. Throw a little anti-seize on there. If you tapped it good, it'll thread right in. There's our finished product. That is much better, much cleaner, much more compact. Can't wait to test fit that thing. Well guys, that's all I got for you in this episode. As always, if you have any questions, drop me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more Miata Turbo Madness.